Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John. This is the uh, world-famous Sipping Den, where I do a lot of my reviews. Because after I do my review, whatever I'm reviewing, I like to sit back, relax in here, and finish it. And on here, I do everything as anything to do with coffee and alcohol. Do it all. Got the playlist to prove it. I challenge you to check that out. I just did a um, video on titled why cure coffee is so bad and how to improve it i go over the reasons why it's not ideal and then i try and fix it as best i can and one of the things was <clears throat> to use um you know freshly roasted coffee and these reusable coffee pods <clears throat> and to brew it at uh, the smallest amount of water so i did that i did that against a curic and remember, Keurig has a paper filter. This has no paper filter. And so paper will take out some oils, right? Oils, flavor, will take out some essential oils that are essential for the flavor of the coffee right off the bat. Um, and I went over all this. I'm just now going to compare the pre-made versus the quality coffee in a pod, which is actually cheaper, by the way, that per ounce than the pods. So looking at it, here it is. I did them both at six uh, ounces. This one here is the pod. This one here, they're both dark roasts, is the, uh, the Keurig, Green Mountain. Uh, looking at it, there's a little more oil on top of the, um, I don't know if you're, on top of the pod that I filled. Let's give them a smell. All right, so um, it's a lot richer. It's just a lot, just a lot. It just smells better. It's just got that, that natural, what we call coffee smell, if you don't want to get too technical, I'm not picking out things. Just like what I always compare it to, you walk into a diner in the morning and you hear the cups rattling and they're serving coffee and they're brewing it all day long. You got that smell in the air. That's what this is, the one that uh, I brewed with my own pot. A strong traditional coffee smell. The other one's way more mild and tame. When you compare the two of them, you could tell a big difference between that traditional coffee strong smell and a kind of a diluted smell. And I'm thinking the flavor is going to be the same way, but we'll see. There is a, there's a big, there's, it's huge. The one taste, I hate to use terms like this, bold, rich, traditional coffee, like you would imagine it should, like it smells. And the other one is thin, watery. It's just the same thing. The other one just seems to be so much bolder, so much richer, and so much stronger, if that makes sense. They both taste like coffee because they both are coffee. It's just that one's fresh, and you can what you can smell is what you can taste. The bold flavor. It's actually a little sweeter. But the thing is, not knowing where it was sourced, what country and all, we'll just go by, instead of trying to break down the flavors, because that isn't it, it's not fair that way, we'll go by the traditional coffee smell and which one smells and tastes better, more like a traditional, rich, bold cup of coffee, if that makes sense to you. And when we do it like that, there's no comparison to smell and the taste of the freshly um, roasted and ground coffee in this pod versus uh, the coffee smell and taste in the prepackaged pod. It's night and day. I encourage you to get one of these. Get you some good ground coffee from your local shop. Go in there, buy it, you'll smell it, you'll tell the difference immediately. In the long run, it's actually cheaper. And um, and do your own experiment. You won't need to do them side by side. The minute you taste it, you'll know. Uh, so if you're going to use a Keurig, 
my friends, this is the only way to fly.